Can anybody else relate to me? <laughs> I mean, I can't be the only person who does this, right? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Killua, you meant to look at the camera. That's the baby, look at the camera. <laughs> Hello everyone! Oh, thank you for giving me back my chair. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're okay. I hope you are taking care of yourselves. And have you eaten? Have you eaten is a very common question to ask in East Asia. I think it's also the same in South, West, northern asia as well um but definitely in china and vietnam we always ask someone have you eaten because it's another way of saying are you okay if you haven't eaten make sure you get something to eat before you watch this video and if you have eaten that's very good that means you are taking care of yourself so today's video is going to be a cute homey vlog i need to clean up my bedroom my bedroom's honestly Oh, it just always is like a mess and I don't know how people keep it tidy. I mean, we're halfway there guys. Like I've done my wardrobe. My bed is always pretty much done. So that's fine. My drawers are okay. Like my clothing drawers, but my vanity table is looking a little bit crazy. And so does my windowsill. So we're gonna do that today. We're also gonna be doing a bit of cooking today as well. So I'm going to make my first ever like Korean street food dish. I don't know how to say it. We are going to try and make rub Boki, I think that's how you say it. I'm not entirely sure. I found this TikToker called Cafe Maddie. I'll leave a link to her TikTok account down below in the description box. Make sure you guys check her out. She does a lot of cooking videos and they seem really easy to follow. She does a lot of East Asian food as well, which is really great because I love East Asian food. Yeah, it's my first time making this dish. It's a mixture of ramen and I don't know how to say this. It's Korean rice cakes, but it's dudopiki, duboki. Oh my god, I'm terrible, honestly. And we're gonna have that dish with a soft boiled egg as well, so that's gonna be mine and Nathan's dinner this evening. So a few things before I start the proper video. What do you guys think of my makeup? I mean, my skin doesn't look its best today, so I do apologize. I'm like literally breaking out so much. Let me zoom you guys in. Yeah, so I am trying the new Gucci foundation. They sent me the new foundation, and when I first put it on, I was like, as in, that's bad. <laughs> but let me explain. So this side of my face was all going like dry and crusty. And I was like, oh my God, what's going on? I mean, when you're breaking out quite naturally, when you put makeup on top of spots, the foundation can't help but dry up because the spot is dry. So you do need to apply a lot of moisturizer before applying foundation on in order for the foundation to look smooth and flawless <laughs> but um it was going all dry and patchy and then after like five minutes the dryness was gone so i don't know what happened this is the foundation it's in a beautiful bottle as well i love the light pinky beige aesthetic and i am in the shade 260w which is fair medium it's very lightweight it's very floral the scent so if you do have very sensitive skin gotta be careful because i know that a lot of people who have sensitive skin they react badly to fragrant makeup and skincare so i do just want to warn you guys yeah i mean i seem to like it so far so this is what we are dealing with today um the last time i cleaned my vanity table i think it was maybe seven months ago oh my god such a long time so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually going to take everything off my vanity table and wipe down this table and then i'm just going to clean all of my products because some of my perfumes i don't know if you guys can see but there's like dust on my perfume which is quite gross so yeah, just gonna clean everything, sanitize everything, and then I'm just gonna go through products of what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to give away. In terms of the drawers, I know this is like a mess, but I can kind of see what's going on. I know that sounds a bit crazy, but in here is basically body oils, deodorants, and body moisturizers. Um, everything else is quite boring stuff, to be honest. Like in here is like animal stuff. <laughs> Down here is like sunglasses, which I rarely ever go into this drawer because, you know, lockdown life. This drawer over here is meant to be my makeup drawer for when I get ready, but because we're in lockdown, I think I might empty this drawer out and just put skincare products in here. And in here is meant to be for like travel. Oh my God, don't mind this. <laughs> so in here is basically like minis, mini 
travel sets, mini um, samples, just mini everything because, you know, before lockdown, I did travel quite a bit. Like I would go to another country at least twice a month and I desperately needed minis because I don't like carrying big bottles but because of lockdown I may actually need to get rid of my minis because a lot of them are like running out of date and I just don't use them so yeah so I got this glove which I got from Amazon this is to help take dust off things so I'm really hoping you guys can see the dust on this perfume so handy to have this I'm gonna keep all of my perfumes only because I actually genuinely wear perfume every day even though we are in lockdown and I'm not going anywhere special it is nice to spray some perfume on oh yeah this is a black bowl so you might be able to see the dust and then that's the other side what a difference OG Britney Spears love this perfume if you love vanilla spells you need to try this perfume it's from a brand called Montel Paris oh my god this is probably the strongest but the type of vanilla smell that doesn't give you a headache it's so good and yummy and you can get this in Selfridges okay so now that I've done a little bit of dusting I'm just gonna start oh my god so this product's right here it's from a brand called Player but you can get this off of Morphe this has been on my vanity table I'm not joking for about maybe three days and it's already dusty who remembers my unboxing video and i tried this moisturizer out from full fray guys i do not like this so i'm going to give this away to someone it's just too lightweight like i like my body moisturizers really thick and nourishing and moisturizing this just doesn't feel like it's going to moisturize anything love this product this is the main and tail hair strengthener much needed after bleaching my hair i have a perfume with a cat's head on it this is from a brand called portraits this is also like an oody smell as well. Oh, it's so strong. Olaplex, a necessity. I feel like every person should experience owning an Olaplex oil or Olaplex shampoo and conditioner because it really does truly help repair the hair. My favorite Korean skincare brand. I am going to do a dedicated video to Korean and Japanese skincare, so look out for that. Can anybody else relate to me? <laughs> I mean, I can't be the only person who does this, right? Hands down, one of the best serums I have ever tried. The Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This is my second bottle. So good, especially if you're into like anti-aging and you want that natural glowy skin. Serums penetrate deeper into the skin. So yeah, if you're looking for a good quality serum, this is one of the few serums that I actually recommend. Look how cool this serum is. So this is a oil infused serum, which sounds so interesting. When I first heard about this, I was like, there's no way in hell Fresh made an oil infused serum. Because when I think of an oily serum, I just think of greasiness, but they they managed to find like the right balance of oiliness and hydration and look how much I've used like that's how you know I really enjoy using this product but yeah I really like it it really helps repair and hydrate my skin especially during winter time as well this was like a lifesaver this right here is my favorite night cream this is the Estee Lauder revitalizing supreme night cream honestly massive fan of Estee Lauder skincare definitely one of the best love this product this is the vitamin e hydrating mist so good at hydrating but if you are to use this on top of makeup be very careful because it can make your makeup slide off it is so hydrating and yet yeah, my skin absolutely loves it Oh my god, love this. This is the Murad Blemish Control Clarifying Body Spray. I use this quite a few times because I do suffer from a lot of spots on my body. And um, this is really cool because I can like I can put the bottle upside down and spray and the spray will still come out really well. Yeah, love this. If you guys don't like retinol, you could potentially try this product. It's from Indeed. And yeah, this is basically an alternative to a retinol. So this is basically resurfacing pads. So it looks like that and you just apply this all over your skin and it should help renew your skin without drying it up okay so in this basket it's full of skincare i'm gonna actually take this off the table and sort this out on the bed so here's a before of my vanity table all that nasty grime and dust wow which is my favorite step. So 
I must have dropped some cream down here. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit on the cloth and just a little bit on the, ah, make sure this doesn't curl my carpet. So here's an overview of all of the products. I'm going to say goodbye to majority of them. Uh, but before I do, let's open up this Tom Ford box because I have no idea what's in here. Uh, I remember getting this through PR. I don't know why I left it in my bedroom and not in my beauty room. But um, yeah, let's open it up. Oh, wow. Oh my god, I got a Tom Ford perfume. What the hell? Tom Ford also does its shimmering body oil. What? I didn't know this. We also have a lipstick from them as well, which I did open. <laughs> Is it a lipstick? Oh my god, wow. Wow, so cool. Even though I'm kind of a bit bored of brands doing glittery lipsticks, but it's cool. <laughs> also have an eyeshadow palette in here as well. I took the body oil out of the packaging. I was not expecting this color. It is insane. So unique, so different. And I really, really like it. This is definitely the opposite of a body oil. I just wouldn't expect Tom Ford to do something like this. But yeah, that's really cool. And here is the beautiful perfume bottle. Oh my god, it smells so amazing. It smells like summer. Like, I can't explain it. It just smells really summery, floral, but it's kind of like a beachy floral scent. It's the only way I can really describe it. And when I mean beachy, I don't mean like salt beachy. I mean like exotic type of floral, Bora Bora, Philippines, Bahamas, that type of smell. It's got that exotic palm tree type of smell. I don't know. It's so hard to explain, but it smells so yummy. Thank you so much to Tom Ford for these beautiful products. I can't believe it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start putting things on my vanity and I'm trying to think strategically how to organize this <laughs> because I want to make sure that the products that I put on my vanity table, especially the ones that are visible, are products that I'm actually going to use, which is not a lot. So I think a lot of the products are going to have to be given away or be put away in my beauty room. But the thing is, I don't want to like put too much products in my beauty room because you guys have seen it. It's already quite a lot. And I don't want to like put products on top of other products because it would just get really cluttered. So yeah, I'm going to have to say goodbye to a lot of products that used to be on my vanity table. So let's begin. I'm going to keep all of my body care only because body care, me and Nathan, we go through it so, so, so quickly. I think I might get a little hoover and just hoover it in the, well, I say little, I actually have a very big hoover. Okay, so I gave it a hoover. Um, this is from Stackers. I really like Stackers. I want to get a new jewelry box from Stackers. And um, yeah, it's customized, got my name on it, which is super cute. It needs to give us a wipe though. Okay, I think I'm just gonna leave um, this here and put my perfume in there. Oh, there's something so satisfying about perfume bottles. Like look at all of these Kayali ones and I got my Dior one at the back. Oh. So cute. Oh my god. Honestly, perfumes are just my favorite thing to buy and use. So in this basket, I got it from this shop in Victoria. It was in like the little shopping center. If you're from London, you know what I'm talking about. Originally, I was going to use it to hold my brushes, but then I realized my brushes kept spilling out uh, at the bottom. So I put my headbands in here, but I'm going to get rid of a lot of headbands because I don't need loads of headbands which is going to be very hard to do because i adore headbands so much got so many cute headbands I've got a few kaz bands which i'm going to keep i love these two i love this gray one as well i don't really wear sparkly pink headbands so i'm just going to give that away this is my favorite headband of all time <laughs> and this is a really good comfortable headband as well the huda beauty one i don't think she sells them i really think she should though Ta -da. So this is the way I've kind of organized it. I folded the Huda Beauty headband. I wanted the bow to show and then I just put my hairbrush in here, which by the way, look how cute my hairbrush is. Right, so in this basket, it's all skincare. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna declutter it all and only keep skincare products in here that I actually wanna keep and use. Uh, gonna keep this. Really, really, really adore using this product right here. Oh, so good. And also, you can tell someone loves the product when they use a lot of it. <laughs> I'm going to keep this. 
Eye creams is just one of those things that you have to have in your skincare routine. And I really enjoy using this Elemis one. Love Too Cool for School, but I am going to give this one away. Love this, but I already have one already. This is the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. So good. This is basically um, a mixture of, I believe it's AHA and BHA. So it really helps exfoliate the skin and renew the skin as well. I think it renews the skin. I'm not entirely sure. I think I might be wrong, but it definitely does help exfoliate the skin. Oh my God. All I see is my cat's fur in here. Oh wow. This is so oily the charlotte tilbury magic night cream way too oily and i am an oily girl already so i can handle oil i can handy handy i can handle <laughs> heavy skincare heavy makeup but this is like cement it is so thick and heavy it's not for me so i'm gonna give it away i have loads of elizabeth Arden serum so i'm gonna be very honest with myself and tell myself that I don't need this because I already have so many Elizabeth Arden serums. Going to say goodbye to this Pixie Overnight Oil. This is the retinal oil. I already have one, so I feel like one's enough. I don't need two, three, four, or five. One's enough, and as soon as I'm done with my other retinal oil, which I am going to show you guys, I'm going to show you what I use, then I'll just go buy another one. Going to give this a try. Like, I, I've used some already, but I'm going to continue to try this out because this is meant to help fade acne scars. So, when I mean acne scars, I mean hyperpigmentation. So, yeah, I've got some hyperpigmentation, unfortunately, so I'm going to give this a go and see if it beats my Ole Henriksen um oh toner oh my god i'm almost running low on my vitamin c glycolic brightening serum and if you guys can tell yes okay that makes me so happy i'm gonna try to finish that off this week i love spf mist oh my god so handy to use especially after you do a full face of makeup and you forgot to put sunscreen on, you just spray that on very lightly. You don't need to go heavy and it just does the trick. I'm gonna go ahead and start filling this basket up. I'm only gonna fill it up with skincare products that I know for sure that I am going to use. So I do have some skincare products on my bed. So I'm just gonna like be like this the whole time. <laughs> so yeah, definitely going to continue using this. I wanna get more products from this brand. Uh, you can get AHC from Look Fantastic. Look Fantastic is slow bringing us more Korean skincare and makeup hopefully they can bring Japanese and other Asian skincare brands as well because I honestly feel like Asian skincare is just another level if you love hydration glowiness and you love that glass skin look honestly you need to check out Korean and Japanese skincare products that are insane. This is actually going to be so upsetting to say the wishful first trap juice HA free and peptide serum. It's not moisturizing enough for me. It really isn't. So I'm actually gonna give this to Nathan because Nathan uses skincare as well. So this is for you, babe. Okay, so this is the retinal night oil that I wanted to show you guys. This is from Sunday Riley and I love it so much. It's so good. It's in this beautiful blue color as well, which is so crazy. And yeah, I'm obsessed with this product so much. I think that's what I'm gonna do, guys. So here's an overview of my vanity table. So much more nicer and neater. Okay, and now we just gotta tackle the windowsill. I'm just gonna tidy up and make it neater. I don't know why I have a nice PR box there. <laughs> I also got some Makeup Revolution Times Friends makeup products that I have never used. So I think I might do a giveaway, guys. Yeah, it's all brand new. Oh my god. Okay. I just need to give it a clean and a dust. Right, so uh, stay tuned for my next video. And um, yeah, I'll be doing a giveaway. I'm so happy that this is all nice and clear. I'm gonna really enjoy doing my morning and nighttime skincare routines. I'm so glad that this basket is so easy to stare at. Like I feel like I can see everything. And these are literally the products that I do use daily which is awesome i did add in a few extra products in there like the origins a lotion love it and another spf just in case that i don't want to use a spray spf 
So yeah, I'm gonna go over to the kitchen and make some Korean food. Here are all the ingredients. Some of the ingredients are a little bit different compared to Maddie from the TikTok video because she's from the States. So here in the UK, some of our products are a teeny bit different, but this is the base. I'm using fresh garlic mince and Maddie used dry powdered garlic. So yeah, I am going to add other ingredients into the ramen only because I don't know, whenever I see a recipe for a dish, I sometimes like to add my own stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to have some enoki mushrooms, obsessed with these mushrooms and some pre-cut and wash scallions. I'm just gonna go ahead, pour all of the ingredients into this bowl, apart from these two. So here's all the measurements. She said 2.5 tablespoons of sugar. <laughs> well, it was my first time making this, okay? Don't judge me. It looks good though, look. See? So she used different noodles. She used mum noodles. I'm using just normal ramen kimchi noodles. I just need to put a whole pack of this into the marinade, I guess I can call it. Korean rice cakes. Hey, translation. I'm gonna just add the second packet of the seasoning that came with the kimchi ramen, only because I had a little bit of taste of the sauce and it's a bit too sweet. So I'm just gonna put more of this in. Can you please get me two eggs? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did you put it so close to my face? Okay, we're gonna have soft boiled eggs. And I learned that you boil them six minutes. I think I put too much sugar in it. It's such a big spoon. How should I feed you like this? Yeah. It's nice. Is I it like nice? It. Okay, that's good. Korean food bangs, man. It's so good. Do you wish you were Korean? This is a confession. <laughs> no, I don't wish I was Korean. I love being Chinese and bit. <laughs> Do you wish to be Japanese? I'm talking to Nathan, by the way. Um, I don't care. You say that. Two packs. Are we gonna need more liquid? No, it'll be okay. It's gonna be fine. It doesn't look fine, but it's gonna be fine. My baby! Chase the cat. Get her off. My favorite part, adding the ornaki. I think this is enough for two of us. I hope so. Finally done. Oh, I love runny egg. Ah, it's so slippery. <laughs> it's so slippery. Amateur. 
Mm. You're gonna just, just trade them off. Yeah. Not even like half, just the whole thing. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Help! Mmm. Mm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Now I need to record you. I'm trying to noodles with sauce. No, don't watch the way I hold my chopsticks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like the sauces. <laughs> it's um, very flavoursome, but it's not overly spicy, but it has the same flavour as spice. Mm. Baby! You know what? You know. So vocal. You know. Yeah, Billy. <laughs> Billy. Yes. Okay, I was gonna try the Korean beer now. So I got plum, Nathan's got strawberry. Cheers. Oh no, no, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Oh, today. Do this. Oh! This. Like this. Oh my god! Ready? Oh my god! What's the percent of that? I don't know. This is all in Korean. It tastes like straight up actual alcohol, not beer. It's 30%. Yeah, that's fine. I know that's fine, but still, that's like. That's tasty, I like that. I'm already a beer person, but it's sweet, so. Mm. Anyway, thank you for joining, and I will see you in the next video.